Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on conditional logic. It says that there is a science student that uh, he has four uh, flasks. One, two, three, four. They contain red, blue, green and orange chemical respectively. So one contains red, two contains blue, three contains green and four contains orange. Then we are given that he can mix these chemicals. Right? So experiment consists of mixing exactly two of these chemicals. So two chemicals have to be mixed and uh, emptying the contents of one of the flasks into another of the flasks. So let us say if he mixes one and two, he can empty it two in one or he can empty one and two. Okay. Uh, the following conditions apply. The product of an experiment cannot be used in further experiments. Let us say he has mixed one and two, then he cannot use the mixture. He has mixed uh, three and two, he cannot use the mixture. Mixing the contents of one and two produces a red chemical. So one and two when mix produce a red. So let me just write R. Mixing the contents of two and three produces an orange chemical. So if you mix two and three, it is orange. And mixing the contents of three with the contents of either one or four produces a blue chemical. So three with one or three with four produces blue chemical. Okay, so either this or this. Mixing the contents of 4 with the contents of either 1 or 2 produces a green chemical. So 4 with this or this produces green chemical. So that is the conditions that are given to us and based on that we have to read the questions and answer them. Okay, so the first question says if the student performs exactly one experiment which one of the following could be the colors of the chemicals in the resulting three non-empty flasks? So the student conducts one experiment, right? So this experiment can mean that he can mix any of the chemicals, right? He can uh, mix uh, red, blue, he can mix blue, green. Like there are six possibilities of doing the experiment, right? So in this question, what we will do is we will go by options because that is the uh, best way to solve this question. Uh, otherwise, like we will have to check for six cases. Like in case we uh, we solve it by uh, finding all the possibilities, mixing one and two, two and three, and so on, we will have six cases. But options are four. So let's start with this blue, blue, green. Okay. So blue, blue, green means that he should not touch blue. He should not touch blue, and he should try to get blue out of uh, the remain mixing of uh, like. In order to produce one extra blue, he has to mix uh, chemicals. So if he does not touch blue, blue remains intact. And another blue can be obtained by green and red or orange. Orange and red cannot give blue. Right? Orange and red will give green. So green and red will give blue, but he will have blue, blue, orange. He cannot obtain blue, blue, green. Right? So that is not our answer. Blue, orange, orange. So that means orange should remain intact and he should obtain another orange so that means he needs to mix blue and green if he mixes blue and green so orange orange red but it says orange orange blue which is again incorrect blue orange and red okay so if blue orange and red are obtained that means green has to be removed so green has to be mixed with something right so suppose if we mix green with red we will get uh, if we mix green and red we will get blue blue orange right not possible if we mix green and blue we will get orange orange and red again not an option if we mix green and orange we will get blue blue and red again that is not an option right so that is also not possible so if three options are eliminated this should be our answer let us verify the answer green green red so one green remains intact so this will be intact we need to produce another green okay and uh, this we can do by mixing orange and blue so if we mix like green this is intact okay this green can be obtained by mixing four and two so if you mix two and four we will get green okay and then red is intact so this is from one this is from three and this is by mixing two and four so this is a possible uh, color of chemicals that can be obtained.
All right, let's see the next question. If the student performs exactly two experiments, he has to perform two experiments, so he will mix two pairs, right? Because once he has mixed something, it is saying that the product of an experiment cannot be used in further experiments. So he has to basically mix two pairs. Which one of the following could be the colors of the chemicals in the resulting two non-empty flasks? Okay. All right. So if he is mixing two pairs, so he should get two new. So if there are two experiments, that means he has to mix two pairs. So if two pairs are mixed, that means originality will be gone. Because uh, like if let us say if you mix blue and green, this is a new color. This is a new color. So original color will not remain. Okay. So blue, blue. Right. Let us see how can he obtain blue. So uh, he can obtain by mixing green with red. Okay. Uh, if he mixes green with red, he will get one blue. And then he has to mix two and four that will give green. So blue, blue is not possible. Okay. Uh, suppose he mixes uh, green and orange. Okay. So green and orange will give blue. Blue and red will give red. So blue and red is possible. So we see an option that blue and red. Blue and red is possible. So blue and red is possible. How? If we mix 1 and 2 to give red. And if we mix 3 and 4, we will get blue. Right? So we figured out the answer. Let, if we want to eliminate the cases, we can see that. Let us say if he mixes blue. Okay. So blue is by 1, 3. Okay. Or by 3, 4. So 1, 3 will give us blue. In that case, 2, 4 will give us green. So either blue, green is possible. Okay. Or the other scenario is 3, 4 gives us blue and red. So these two options can be eliminated. Green, red, we need to find out. Okay. So if he mixes red and blue, he will get red. And green and orange will give blue. Okay. So uh, if you want to check for green, uh, green you can mix orange and blue. Okay. Uh, orange and blue will give green. Green plus red will give blue. So green and blue, uh, green and red are not possible. Again, if we take another possibility, orange and red, orange and red will give us green, blue plus green will give orange. So green and orange are possible, but green and red are not possible. So this is the only possibility that we can get for two flasks. Okay. I mean, there are other possibilities among the options. This is the only possible answer. Let's see the next question. If the student performs exactly one experiment and none of the resulting three non-empty flasks contains a red chemical, which one of the following could be the colors of the chemicals in the three flasks? So we are given that he mixes two chemicals and it does not contain red. Okay. Now there are two possibilities. One thing is he has to use, there are two things that I need to keep in mind. If it does not contain red, so red has to be used. First thing. Second thing is red should not be mixed with so we have to remove red so that means red needs to be used okay second thing is we should not mix one and two because if we mix one and two that means we will again get red okay so we we can either mix one and three or we can mix one and four two possibilities so uh, if we mix one and three we will get green uh, red and green we will get blue in that case okay and the remaining colors will be blue and orange so either blue blue orange or second case if we mix one and four we will get green okay and two and three remain as they are so blue and green so blue blue green not the answer blue green green that is a possible answer blue green orange okay so that is the answer so we can get either blue green green or we can get blue, blue, orange. So these are the two possibilities. Among the uh, among them, this is given in the options. Next question. If the student performs exactly one experiment and exactly one of the resulting three non-empty flasks contains a blue chemical, which one of the following must be the colors of the chemicals in the other two flasks? Okay. So we have to tell that one uh, exactly one contains blue right uh, let us say let us find out the possibilities how we can mix those right so one case is either blue remains intact right so let us consider the first case that two is intact okay uh, so that blue remains as blue only then we cannot mix three and one because if we mix three and one 
that will result in another blue formation right we cannot mix 3 and 4 also because if we mix 3 and 4 we will get another blue so we will mix 1 and 4 and 3 will remain as it is so 3 remains as green and if we mix 1 and 4 we get green so there is one possibility like this okay now uh, this is one possibility second possibility is that one of the flask contains blue chemical so that means we will get by mixing something by blue and removing blue right so either one possibility is that we uh, let blue intact second possibility is we create blue and we remove this blue that is not possible because if we create blue we can do only one experiment right so if we are creating blue we cannot remove blue in that case so this is the only case possible because one experiment right so if we create blue we have to remove blue also so we need to do two experiments so only one experiment is possible uh, one experiment has to be there that blue remains intact and we mix uh, this way and we cannot mix 3 and 1 because that will give us blue we cannot mix 3 and 4 that will give us blue so we will mix 1 and 4 so 1 and 4 gives us uh, green and 3 remains intact that is again green so both the chemicals obtained will be green so remaining two both will be green so that is uh, the answer to this question all right so i have two questions for you to answer in the comments uh, uh, you have seen what is the process to make the mixtures right so there are two questions one is on uh, two both them uh, both the questions contain that there are two experiments to be done right and answer these questions in the comments of this video